One of the big factors that determines the success or failure of a company is its advertising and marketing strategy. You can have the greatest product in the world, but without proper marketing, your chance of success is small. Kay Stelling is the founder and owner of Genius Advertising and Marketing. She discussed with Sean the media buying aspect of her business and how she figures out how to most effectively reach her clients' potential customers. What's up guys? Today we're here with Kay Stelling and you are a specialist in marketing and advertising pretty much. Correct. So tell me a little bit about what you do. One of the things I love to do is uh, buy media for clients. And so as a media buyer, I take their budget and I look and see what where target they're trying to reach, what demographic they're trying to reach, specifically targeting okay. uh, for their product. And uh, I call up the radio TV stations, I get pricing, I take that budget and put together a media plan, submit it to the client, and uh, negotiate actually with the stations as well. I negotiate based on uh, uh, very technical uh, criteria to make sure that the money that I'm going to spend on their behalf uh, is going to be cost efficient. Okay. So I uh, take a look at the cost per thousand. How much is it going to take to reach every 1,000 people? Which is, you know, one criteria that you can take and put across outdoor radio television. Mm -hmm. So I look at that technical criteria and then uh, put together that media plan and then execute it. Then I make sure the spots are running right. How did you get involved in this? Were you always interested in advertising? Well, I've been in the business about 30 years oh, wow, and okay. um, started from the marketing side. Actually worked at Universal for a while, did marketing for them. Uh, and, uh, you know, kind of had a real interest in uh, the whole aspect of uh, m moving the needle for clients. Mm -hmm. So when I put together Media Buy, we want to obviously see end results and we look at what the return on investment is. Mm -hmm. What's your educational background? Well, I went to school in Miami, um, went to Florida International That's University. That's a nice place to go to school. It is. <laughs> it is a really great place. Um, and uh, got in, took, actually took broadcast communications was my degree. Okay. And that was kind of broad based. But then over the years, just one, my path led to the whole marketing side of the business. Um, you know, I get excited uh, when, you know, you make a recommendation with someone and, uh, and it works. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you work for a firm or for yourself? No, I work for myself. Okay. I was in the business. Um, uh, the last job I had, I was a general sales manager at Clear Channel Radio here. And um, we did uh, just decide, you know what, I can put money on the books for them. I'm going to put money on the books for myself. Mm -hmm. And so I struck off, off on my own about five years ago. And, uh, and I love, love, love it. You know, before when I was working just in radio, that was pretty singular. And it was on the other side of the business. Mm -hmm. So I think I bring that perspective to the table when you can see both sides of, you know, what it is to, from the media side, and I'm on the other side of the desk. So okay. I kind of have good insight. Now working with a big company like that and then doing it on your own, I know getting clients is a lot different. So how do you get your clientele? Actually, referrals. Okay. I'm fortunate enough, I've been around in the market for quite a while, and um, you know, people know who I am, and you know, I attend networking meetings and uh, you know, just get to know people. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I'm referred by my current clients too. Excellent. So I do a good job for them and then they refer me. That's how it works. Now, if there's someone that's watching that might want to get involved maybe in marketing or advertising or both, what's the advice you have for our viewers that might be interested in this career path? Well, I would say, you know, one of the things I wish I would have done, I wish I would have taken more business courses. Um, I think I was a little bit of a disadvantage uh, when I, and I'm saying coming up in my career. Obviously, after I got into management uh, of a radio station or, or uh, of a sales team, it was uh, a little bit, uh, you know, challenging to some degree to be able to just, you know, walk in and immediately, you know, know how to manage inventory of, on a radio station, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and keeping things balanced, whether, you know, and pricing and pricing the radio and television spots, you know, so you have to, uh, I just wish I would have taken more business classes. Well, thank you so much, Kay, for taking time out of your busy day to speak with us. I know I learned a lot and I'm sure my viewers did as well. So it was a pleasure and keep up the good work. Thanks. Media buyers can work for a variety of places, including advertising agencies, marketing departments of large corporations, private consulting firms, or be self-employed as Kay is. If you are interested in advertising and have good math and analytical skills, along with good people, negotiation, and persuasive skills, a career in media buying might be right up your alley. To learn more about a career in media buying, as well as other careers in the advertising and marketing field, click on the link on today's episode synopsis at rl101.com. 
When you start job seeking, one of the main tools you'll need is a good resume. Since this is often the first thing a prospective employer is going to see about you, you want it done correctly. It could make a difference on whether or not you'll even get an interview. We've got tips to help with resume writing on our website that can help you create a resume that will stand out above the rest. You'll find samples of resumes for all different sorts of careers. Check it out at rl101.com.